We've created every space in the hospital to be as open as possible with plenty of natural light and views of nature. Studies show that pleasant lighting reduces pain, stress, and discomfort for patients and guests and helps our staff recharge. We hope your family and friends feel comfortable gathering here during your stay. They're welcome to use our free Cisco Wi-Fi network to stay connected whenever they visit. Access to the network, wired or wireless, is available literally everywhere in the hospital, even outdoors on the hospital grounds via our wireless mesh network. Before we register you, I want to highlight another key role that Cisco plays in the hospital of the future. While touring Palomar West, you'll notice that all building, communication, IT, and clinical systems are converged onto a single Cisco medical grade network. By doing this, we've positioned our clinicians to provide you with the very best care and innovative new services. This approach is called Cisco's Connected Real Estate Framework for Healthcare. Now I'm going to give you a Palomar West patient bracelet. It includes an RFID tag, which allows our staff, the digital signs, and even the elevators throughout the facility to automatically recognize you. Knowing exactly who and where you are helps ensure your safety and enables us to adapt your environment to your preferences. Okay, you're here to have your gallbladder removed. Dr. Hayes will perform the procedure. Standard reliability. Any number of procedures from a variety of disciplines, including interventional radiology, cardiovascular, urology, and gastroenterology, can be performed right here using built-in robotics and real-time functional imaging systems. And any resource we need is close by carefully managed and stocked using just-in-time inventory management. 3D multi-modality imaging plays a crucial role in ensuring the success of every procedure. I'll have access to high-definition scans of your abdomen the entire time. If surgery is necessary... Hi, are you guys actually um, avatars or are, are you bots? Are you guys real? I'm thinking you're all dressed the same and you're probably bots. Okay, well, thanks. I had a really good tour. I got a bit lost, but maybe I'll just try one more time. Right now, to be honest, I'm still 50-50 um, whether I want to give birth at home or in the hospital, but I'm more willing to go to the hospital because if anything happens at the last minute, I know it will be safer for the child to, to be in the hospital. I just didn't want a hospital experience. I don't really like hospitals, so I thought it would be more relaxing to stay at home and I'd be more in control that way. Would you consider a home birth? This video no, is being streamed no. from I consider, but the web server. I think it's more safe for me now. So it's a streamer video and into it's Second Life and out. This is an example of the kind of specialist care provided for newborn babies. Look, you're on TV. Oh, hi there. Here I am at Virtual Hallucinations in Second Life. This is a project by Drs. Peter Yowlis and James Cook. Thousands of people have been through the Virtual Hallucinations on the main grid. This is another build, an updated one, that they've got here on their Davis Island. Patient or a female patient? I think we'll choose female. Okay, here we go. UC Davis Medical Center, Psychiatric Evaluation and Treatment. Get the gun. Get the bloody gun. Get the gun. Shoot yourself. Shoot all the bastards. Do this. Get the gun. Do it now. Get the gun.
not sit up there. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Let's make another box and let's make it a bit bigger. poster on here again so that's 2009 conference parfait and I'm going to go to shirt and I'm oopsie there I am okay now let's get some fabric on our shirt what should we pick 2009 conference. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it's not the best looking shirt. But I like the long sleeves. It's kind of cool. So I'm standing here on Prophylaxis Island and UC Davis Health Informatics program will have one of its um, sessions that talks about virtual environments. Um, so why don't you join join us Saturday, March 7th at UC Davis Medical Center. Okay.